Hi everyone, it's Christine the Girl in the Glass City and here we are the last few days for moments of 2009 looking forward to the next coming new year and lots of you are focused on New Year's Eve plans if you don't have plans you're welcome to follow me either online or in life if you're here in the Glass City but a few things about the new year a lot of people are making resolutions you should too I am I need to work on mine a little bit more need to work on the goals and how to achieve them part of that but one of the things that I know is this as many of you know I am not looking to put a serious relationship in my life at this point however many of you are in fact probably most of you are so one of the things that you have to do is that needs to be one of your resolutions in 2010 not in some kind of desperate way but in a way that you are going to do whatever it takes to start meeting people who might be potential people to interact with you for the rest of your life as a spouse, as a partner, however you see that happening. Um, that takes work, I have to tell you that. It just doesn't happen. And there is the component of, yes, you have to go out and you have to meet people. I will never give up saying that. People will not simply come to you when you're sitting on your couch with your bag of Doritos, watching TV, and petting your cats. You have to go out and meet people, and you have to be desperate about not about you have to not be desperate about that too. But beyond that, doing the things that you need to do. For some of you, okay, this is gonna hurt a little bit, but you might need to look at some therapy. There are a number of reasons why single people are single, and it has to do with how you interact interact with people, how you show yourself to people that haven't met you before. Are you constantly defensive? Are you always trying to prove something? Those particular stances will always push away people. So it makes it very challenging to meet people if that's where you are. Counselors, therapists, those folks can help you get over that kind of stuff. And in the long run, it's great for you too. Read books, take some, do some videos, um, but, but do the hard things that you need to do to make yourself approachable, to make yourself open to be met by someone who could possibly be the love of your life. In 2010, I'll keep giving you reasons to go on out and have fun and meet people. And in 2010, I hope that you find what it is you're looking for with love, with life, and uh, I look forward to spending some of that with you. Happy 2010.